it's Pancake Day. Hello. Uh, hello, it's Pancake Day. Maybe not on the calendar, but I know in our hearts. So ready yourself, start the pigeon, and welcome to Whackless Races. Cow pokes, cow folks, every kind of cow children, cow girls, cow boys, any non-binary. Cow gals, cow pals, hoping no brigands will kill them. Cow kin, cow skin, whatever cow you be. All cow children, every afflicted pilgrim, countless millions, any demography. Cow pokes, cow folks, every kind of cow children. Cow kin, cow skin, whatever cow you be. Last year, you raced to win my daughter's hand. This year, we compete to win a greater prize. Whoever finishes first wins the right to commit one murder of anyone they wish, free of consequence. Ready your engines. Take aim. Go, 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 go. Meanwhile, 13 minutes ago... See, we really do have contestants from all over the West. Northwest, West West, even the soggy little bits of the West nobody likes to talk about. No offence meant, chaps, and none taken, I'm sure. We couldn't miss out on anything like this, could Scott and I. We're sportsmen of old, wherever there is sport. There are we. Or there we are, whichever you prefer. Well, you weren't at the chess tournament last month. My dear child... Chess is no more a sport than sharks or fishes. You might as well claim strip poker as a sport. We may wish these things were so, and Scott and I could be world champions at last. But it's mere fantasy. What ignorance! Um, could one of you clarify things with the pancakes? My foxy friend gets voraciously hungry. The number you cook during the race will act as a multiplier to your score, but none shall know the factor. So it is the number we cook, not the number we're left with. Tato Fox, you may fill your boots. With pancakes? What's going on over there? I think she's a pirate. My name is Barra Bashkin Cowhaver. I have trekked here all the way from the Raider Shore, and I demand inclusion in this auto race. Have you filled in the orange form? I'm colourblind, but I have filled in this paper form, whatever shade it be. Take it. Good. Do you have a motor car? The rumours claimed they would be provided. True, but many here have taken the day to soup up their engines. What care I for soup? Give me my auto car! Take car number three. That one over there. We'll be starting in nine minutes. And remember... There is no law in the arena. Then death shall own the day. That's what I assumed, but it turns out there's no law, but there are rules. This is to be a clean and whackless race. Whackless? No antics, cunning traps, no ranny gazoo. My son-in-law will demonstrate. The Tunnel of Lies. I merely attempt to paint a false tunnel. Whack. The body count need go no higher. Get in your motor car and drive fast. And as you can see, the cars are assembled from all corners of the West, or <laughs> from seven of them at least. And as you may recall, Pancake Day or Shrove Tuesday is the only day, uh, the only day of the year when cars can be driven. Quite why, as a matter of pure physics, for which I'd advise consulting Dr. Sol after the race. It's to be a long and treacherous, and it must be said particularly whackless race today, and it is by no means certain that all cars will make it through alive. The car that finishes in first position will be the winner, subject to various multipliers that Mayor Jeffers is keeping for the moment rather obscure. But all cars are equipped with gas and ingredients. I can see the cars are ready, only awaiting the blue flag, so let me run you down the teams. In number one, the bank enforcers Tato and Rowan in the money wagon. Number two, the cricket men, Trevor and Scott in the Pope Mobile. Number three is the away team of August Sol and Robot Kid White in the Caparola. Number four is the latecomer axe wielding Badabashkin Cowhaver in car number three. And number five is Fennel, the laird of MacGyver and Ross, that is in the Big Deuce Coop. And number six, Dr. Carey and the Wise Bird in the Speedy Splendor. And finally, in number seven is Captain Cock in the cockmobile. 
Oh, thank goodness. And here we go! I shall not repeat what I have already said. Ready your engines! Take aim! Go, 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 go! Meanwhile, 572 hours ago... Well, that's an ingenious plan, Trev! The only kind I believe in. I've agreed it all with the mayor. The car that finishes in position number one is the winner. But the others won't know that this is an ordinal number, not a cardinal one. And vice versa. Absolutely. He who wins shall lose, and we, by coming in second place, will be in position number one. They'll be zero, and we'll be hero. That's the idea. One final glory before retirement, and then I can finally die. And my memoirs will be fit to publish. Say, Trev, do you have to die? No, but I like to have the option. And then there's the prize. Murder! It's nice to have one under one's belt, don't you think? Meanwhile, back at the race course... Go, 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 go! Step on it, Robot Kid White! I am Robot Kid White. Careful! West! West! West, west, west! That was a close one. East, 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 east! You do not need to tell me. I was telling the motor car. I haven't been in anything this primitive or this advanced for a long time. It's all manual. Are you sure? But it's called an auto. Well, that's good. You take the helm, and I'll get to the pancakes. Whoa! Not a lot of suspension on these things. Remember to strap in, Dr. Saul. You seem to know what you're doing. Have you driven before? No, but I was in a club as a young gun. We were obsessed with this sort of thing. Read all the manuals. There's no good on its own, but... We made a board game called Motors and Moo Cows and Murders, and it was colossally violent. Excuse me? I'm getting pancake mix on my gloves. It'll wash out. It's basically just paste. With egg, though. I thought we were using aquafaba. Damn it. I knew I'd forgotten something. Look. Hillocks! I like a nice hillock. You all like these ones. Anyway, the game. Oof! Oof I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, something else we have in common. CM7 the bees. Quickly, Fennel! What's next on the map? It says it's the tunnel of bees. Bees? Fennel, you know they've got unfinished business with me. Just wind your window up, father. Be bold. It'll be death for the both of us. We're in a motor car. Just go fast, father. I believe in motor cars. Let's hope the bees do too. They're all around us. No need for hullabaloo, father. Look, the back window is still open. There are no coming in, father. Oh, Fennel. I think you shouldn't generalize your fear to all bees, father. So we drove cars at a breakneck pace, and there were variables and counters for every little thing. <clears throat> and one by one, <laughs> the other girls fell away. They couldn't handle the gear shifts. They couldn't hack it. There was no fire in their eyes, but I thrilled for the fight. I've been ready for a motor car for a very long time. What happened to the others? All fell into debts and happy and unhappy marriages. This was before I came west, but I made my way out here and met you. I must be lucky. Sure. Not to have your ayah. My ayah? Yeah, you know. Mine the pancake mix. Oh, shoot. So are we going to talk about this prize, Robot Kid White? Murder. Yes. I'm in this for the thrill, for the engineering, for the speed. But you seemed to perk up when you heard about the prize. Is there someone you're planning to do in? I would prefer not to talk about it. I'm an easygoing sort. I don't like bothering where no bothering goes. But this is homicide. I need you to tell me if you're going to kill Ross. No. No. I would not kill Ross. I love him. I've never heard you say that before. I'm happy for you, but not if you're doing a murder. Oh, hold on. What's the map say? Oh, heck, this is marshland. Keep your eyes on or we're going down and we're not coming back up. One of the other cars has gone down. Squilched. I didn't see who it was. Oh, Russ and Fennel are safe. I can see them coming up behind us. Say, you're not going after Fennel, are you? <laughs> and it turned out his name was Frankenstein. <laughs> oh, Scott, you and your story. And look, we're down to six cars. The cockmobile has finally vanished into the swamp. I thought the swamp was lighter. This is the marsh. Are you quite sure? Oh, let me see. Oh, dear. I thought there was a misprint. This means we're coming up to Volcano One. Above, between, or below. It depends. Is this volcano dormant or pregnant? I'm a little worried. It might be rampant. We'd best go round. It does add a lot of distance. No doom or demise until the race is over. That's what I'm sticking to. How are those pancakes getting on? I thought you were doing the pancakes. In that case, which one of us is driving? I know. <laughs> 
Look, Robot Kid White, I'm happy to help you win this, but not if one of our friends is going to fall foul of your mighty metal hands. And don't you always say you're not a killer robot? I am robot, but I am not killer robot. Then who's your target? Who are you racing to end? I will kill Kid White. What? Oh hell, this volcano is lit and I figure it's going to pop. Evasive maneuvers! Anyway, uh, who did you say was for the chop? I will kill Kid White. What? But that's your name! That's who you are! Scene 12. I still don't understand what we're racing for. If you're trying to impress Robot Kid White, I don't think you need to go to all this trouble. Fennel, can I confide in you? Of course! I can't imagine you've anything to say that'll surprise me. But go ahead! I'm all ears. I'm racing to win. I'm racing to beat Robot Kid White. Anything we can do to knock him into second place. Why? I don't think that's the sort of wooing he'll take to. And you're hardly an alpha male. I thought you said there's no such thing as an alpha male. Well, that's true. But you don't want to murder anybody. Wait! Who does a Robot Kid White want to murder? <gasps> This is all about the prize. It's his meat components. It's Kid White. I am Robot. I was built to contain meats. My creator loved oblivion. He hoped to be imprisoned within me. He would become an observer with no power or control. But when the cowman Kid White fell from his horse, I was used to save his ingredients. He did not ask to dwell within me. Now I have a human heart, but I cannot feel it. You want him out? To die? I want love. I want to make love, but I cannot subject my inner meat man to the act of lovemaking. And you think that's worth a murder? No, no, but the prize is not a murder. It is a free murder. No guilt, no blame. I would be shriven. It is Shrove Tuesday. Have you asked Kid White what he thinks about all this? Can, can you hear him, what he thinks? I do not know. I imagine his thoughts day and night. I do not know if they are real. We are both driven wild and deprived of love. Heck, Robot Kid White, you're in a hell of a spot. West, 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 west! So that's the Speedy Splendor taking the lead, Dr. Carey and the Wise Bird plainly free from distractions. The Caparola not far behind, with Robot Kid White at the wheel, followed closely by Barabashkin Cowhaver. She's evidently getting the hang of the controls. And the Big Deuce Coop. Oh, but the Speedy Splendor took a bad turn there and struck one of the signposts. That could prove troublesome for Dr. Carey. If the signpost has been twisted more than 20 degrees, it may be considered whack and a rules violation. Rani Gazoo! Well, there you have it. The Speedy Splendor lies in ruins. The wise bird is dead. A dark day for the entire West. That puts the Caparola back in the lead. And that's the halftime siren. That means we break and come together for sandwiches and orange juice. I'm just being told orange and apple juice mixed. A local speciality. Why have you stopped the race? I had all full advantage and you halt the autocars. You will recommence from the same positions. But juice and sandwiches are traditional. Sorry, but why are there no pancakes? I thought this was Shrove Tuesday. The pancakes are in the cars. I will not have that fact contaminated until the winner is declared. Two things. First, why are the carrot sandwiches all gone? And second, why the hell are you allowing a robot to drive in this race? Don't you know what robots are? Precision instruments with preternatural abilities. Rowan, what the hell's up with you today? Robot Kid White is the only robot in the he's world. He's not a robot, he's a cyborg. He has organic components. That should permit him to drive. I am not a cyborg. My meat portions have no control over me. In that case, he shouldn't be at the helm. Why are you so suddenly anti-robot? Looks like we've got a bigot. You're the bigot for saying so, August Sol. And so what if I am? Silence! Return to your vehicles. Robot Kid White may be a passenger, but he may not steer. But I don't know how to drive this thing. Fennel, you go with August. I'll take Robot Kid White. We need to have a conversation. Feckless squabbling infants. These are not the opponents I expected. Return to your auto, Barabashkin Cowhaver. Buckle up, bucko. Why are you acting so aggressive? You know you love it. Are you going to tell me? Sure, sure. The count is in. Aim. Go, go, Hold go, on to go, your lunch, Tato! 
1917. Why did you say that? Why did you say I am cyborg? I am robot. I was just trying to persuade them to see you as a person. But I am robot. I am not cyborg. Are we only friends for my meat's sake? No, Robot Kid White. I care about you for your personality. We're friends. The closest of friends. Ross. Ross. I was wrong to say you were a cyborg. It did seem to convince them, though, to let you carry on the race. But I am not allowed to drive. Bit by bit, my liberties are eroded. And you know what I was planning. Now you will deliberately drive to lose. No, not at all. You're my friend, and I will win this race for you. And with you, whatever that entails. But I do need to understand. I'm glad you can drive. Me and father both. We learn fast. I'm more surprised you can't. I can, but I wanted to talk to you. Go on, then. No, I got nothing. No, I know that interesting rally. I think you just wanted to get Father and RKW together for a conversation. Have I got you right? I think I understand what Robot's going through. I get his motivation. But his action... His action I do not get. There's gotta be a better way through this. But I'm damned if I can think of it. How does a guiltless, no-consequence homicide even work? How did that end up being offered as a prize? You know, that is weird. Even if I had a license to assassinate, I figure I'd feel a whole hill of guilt, even with enemies. Any idea who organized all this? I assumed Mayor Jeffers, but he does not seem like he has the authority to offer free murders. There's something we're not seeing. How are those pancakes coming on? I've managed one so far. Sorry, it's a complete mess back here. And I ate it. Good! Stop making them! You want to swap positions? Definitely not. You would crush us. I definitely would. I figure one is the magic number pancake-wise. We're all chasing for position one. The number of pancakes is a multiplier, not a divider. So either we need to aim for exactly one pancake, or there's actually a numerical advantage to coming last. Couldn't it be multiplying by a fraction? You've met the mayor. He seems like a man who works in integers. I want to know who's pulling his strings, and I got a few theories. You think it's the robot? I don't care about the robot, but I used to be familiar with his meat portions. That is not a euphemism. Kid White is just a brain, but he might be the brain behind all this. Robot, is this about euthanasia? It is about freedom. It is about love. Okay, great, but I, I just want to know about... If we win this race, I get to remove the leg and heart and brain and intestine. I should not be a walking grave. I cast them out without obligation, without guilt. Guilt? Is that what this is all about? It is Shrove Tuesday, Pancake Day, a day to be shriven. The only day cars can be driven. The only day Robot Kid White can become Robot Robot without guilt. Without this race, I would be forced to imprison the wildening mind, the mind of a man in purgatory for all time, or to take action and slay him and repent of it and spiral into Robot Despair. Robot Despair. Robot Despair. I am the most torn and twisted of robots. I am Robot. I am Robot. Robot Kid White? I had no idea you felt this way. Only this promise of guilt-free execution gives my heart hope and freedom. Pancake day. Pancake day. Look, we are going to win this race or die trying. It is an awful strange prize, mine. We are not in the lead. The money wagon has overtaken us. That anti-robotic bigot and her furry friend We'll chase them in. I think I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Leave them there. Let this be a whackless race. We're coming up to the marsh, and after that, it's volcano number two. Pretty sure this one's a dud. Clamber up. I need all eyes on the mirrors. Tell me about Kid White. You know Motors Moo Cows are murderers? All the other girls fell away. Well, he didn't fall away. He always found a way to win. Tricks, tactics, sometimes it was just luck. And he sold the game. Sold it as his own back east for cash money. Well, we sued his ass, and it was not a pretty ass. And he fled west with nothing, and I was happy to leave it at that. And then he died, is what I heard. Horse fell on him, and in the spring roundup. But his luck's such a bloody thing, he even survived that. And now, he's an immortal robot. And then there's his motor race, and he's the master of good fortune. 
He's laughing it up in metal fridge purgatory, but I'm gonna stop him and I'm gonna show him shame and sorrow. And I'm gonna open the robot and kick him in the heart. I don't like it when you get cold and hot and vindictive. Yes, you do. Damn, you got me. I wish I didn't like it. And what about the murder? The free murder? Is that for him? I don't think it matters. It's good to have one in the bank. But you would use it. Sooner or later. When it's convenient. I mean, you're not going to. No, I never do anything. What are you doing, you fuzzy prick? Giving the others a chance. What kind of bastard idea? Woo! Back in second place. Ooh, that was way too loud. I'm looking at this map and, and there's no finish line. And is that good or bad? It might mean we're expected to stop before the end. There's still the minefield, the hangman's bicycle, the crater of needles. Whoa, it's the Popemobile. Where did they just come from? The cricket men are still in the race. They're in second place, just behind Barabashken. We've come out in pole position, Scott. Everything's coming up, Trevor. I sense it. Evil. Evil. It's the sign. Miss Geigen Hallendorf. The Hat of Days. Are you sure about this? Tempering with Pancake Day. Candlemas. Alakazam. <laughs> the race is over. I've perceived in your hearts too much whack. It gives me agonies to feel the plotting and scheming among you. Shrove Tide has been put on hiatus. Re-implement Shrove Tuesday when they have left their vehicles. I have too much regard for the liturgical calendar to sustain your sorcery, witch. All right. No need to be a dickhead about it. What is the bloody hell is going no! on? No! You stole away our only chance! This is your fault! We could have made it into first, but oh no! It turns out there's a secret tunnel from the marsh to the bog. Quiet down, Scott. Let them have their anger. Can do. Weird. Barabashkin won, but she doesn't seem too celebratory. There was blood on her axe when she arrived. I don't think she even needs the prize to kill. Oh. Crap. I called this race to find the sharp and vicious, those who craved to kill but did not dare. This was supposed to be a gathering of wild marauders, but all I find are ditherers, bankers and soap opera dullards. You called this race? Where was the ramming, the rampage, the road rage? Where were the weapons? As I understand it, whack was strictly forbidden. Violence is not whack. It is the language of pain. And pain is something real, something tangible, something you could put in a pancake. She is right, of course. I took pains to tell you there is no law in the arena. You could have slain one another, but alas! A lack, lack a day and whack a day. What was this race even for? Why do you want potential murderers? Are you a cop? Do I look like a cop? I just wanted to meet some like minded friends, a pirate crew, people I could kill with and even come to love. And you, chicken hearts, there's not a killer among you. But I can change that. I can bring out violence where it lurks. One of you is going to die right now, here, on Pancake Tuesday. I'll leave you to pick the corpse. Hell, are we supposed to kill somebody or are we looking for a volunteer? I shall do it. No, Fendel, you've barely lived. Well, you're not going to do it. I didn't say I was going to. But but I can, if needs be. Poppycock! Errant nonsense, too. If any of us must die, let it be me. I'm the oldest here, and what's more, I've lived the longest. After a quiet life of good adventure, all I need is a noble death for my memoirs. Scott can write them down for me, eh, Scott? In my best handwriting. You see that it is. All right. How do you want to go? I shall will it. You shall what it? Simplicity itself. I shall simply use my willpower, born of a life of discipline, to stop my own heart and eject my ghost. It's just like summoning a burp. I can't believe it. Let's see this, then. Here we go. I've never tried this before, but... <gasps> Say, do you have any affecting last words planned, Trev? 
My flights of angels sing a song of sixpence. I don't think he's really dead. Nobody can just stop like that. I'll check his airway. Stay back. Is this how you honour the dead out west? Because where I come from, there's a word for people like you. Rude. Rude. A great man just died. Died in my arms. You were nowhere near him. No, but I knitted that sweater he's wearing. I'm going to drag him away and give him a decent send-off. And I don't need any help. Oh, does, father. does that count? Mrs. Oh, Barabashkin. Trevor died, I think. I really don't think he did. Look, whose side are you on, Tito? I don't know anymore. Crap, those two cricket men are getting away. I want blood and ghosts and screaming. The car, they exploded. To fake one's death is whack. Barabashkin cow haver, I'll do it. I'll volunteer. I offer you my neck. I'm sorry it's only little, but I'm a child. I didn't want to volunteer. I wanted you to turn on one another and offer me a bloody corpse. You're all of you worse than useless. I did not want to suggest this, but I say we kill Kid White. You know, for once I agree. How can a robot die? No, we don't kill robot Kid White. We kill Kid White. That's just his meat portions. He wants them gone. The meaty remains have no agency and no quality of life. If we have to kill, kill him. Kid White's always been a dead man walking. Robot. I am robot. You are a robot, but not a killer robot. Do I have this right? This is so. And you have hate for the meat within you. It is the other way around. Kid White may despise me, his robot, for the life I lead. Then I will take the meat. If it doesn't want to be in a peaceful, robotic dullard, maybe it would rather a life of violence, crime and passion. Give it here. A brain, a heart, an intestine, a leg. These things I will call friends. They will die outside of me. Then go weep. I will show the broken body of Kid White a powerful, violent dotage. What is viscera to refrigeration? What is dying to death? I have found my friend and my prize. Open up in the name of the sword. Sorry, it had to come to this, RKW. I am R. I am only R. I have my meat! I would curse the lot of you to pitiable lives of squalor, but you have them already! Goodbye, Barabashkin. Goodbye, meat portions of Kid Goodbye. White. Goodbye. See you next year. If we ever meet again, I will cut your head in half. Departing horse noises. See ya. Right. So if the pirate gone, the robot all scooped out, and the cricket men exploded... Who wins the prize? Is that still even valid? You all resisted temptation today. Temptation to whackery. After that, I think you all deserve a murder each. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, you stupid idiot, Rowan. If you'd done that five minutes ago, we'd all still be alive. Except him, of course. And then you could have been Barabashkin's new pirate friend. Yeah, but she was a bit full on for me. Come on, Tato. I'm not coming with you. Then piss off. You can come with us, Tato. I've got to hear about your tailor. And your tail. Hey! Hey! Robot Kid. What is your name now? I am Robot. I am Robot. I feel so empty. So empty. Same here. I'm famished. Well, there's good news on that front. Because it's Pancake Day! And everybody said... Hooray! 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 <laughs> Kid White went on to have many fabulous adventures. Meanwhile, 5,000 miles away... I'm still bitter that we were disqualified. Brandy's a great horse, but she's not a motor car. She's better than any car. Cow folks, cow folks, cow children, whackless cow races by Ben Swithin. With Charlotte Creasy as Barabashkin Cowhaver, Tom Hagley and Ben Swithin as Trevor and Scott, Jazz Chatfield as Tato, Moya O'Rourke as Rowan McGowan, Dylan Reed Miller as August Sol, with Stuart Dunlop as Mayor Jeffers, and Ava Liversidge as Emma Geigen Hallendorf. Cow children will return in Passion Tide. Every kind of cow children, cow kin, cow skin, whatever cow you be. I like pancakes every day. 
But Pancake Day is the best day for pancakes. Theologian Huldrych Zwingli, who I think perhaps was Swiss, uh, actually argued that feeling obligation to give things up for Lent is bad, and it can be freely done. But it shouldn't be a blanket compulsion for all folk, because that's just oppression. So if you've heard this episode and ye want pancakes, but it's Lent, Huldrych Zwingli would not want you to no have pancakes. Be inspired. Eat a pancake, unless you have personally and individually given them up for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Huldrych Zwingli.